To do a linear search in Python is really simple. If you've got items and you want to find target, you just do items.index and it's lightning fast. But often you're not so lucky. Often data types are more complicated than this. Often you need seams to do things in passing. So a simple solution is just a for loop, keeping track of the index as you go along and it works perfectly fine. It's quite a lot of lines. It's five lines. You've got to keep track of the index yourself. A little bit fragile. So we can use the built-in range statement and the len statement to work out how many items there are and iterate through them. Because you've called len first, you've actually scanned them through already. With the built-in list, it doesn't matter. List indexing is blazingly fast. List length is pre-cached and it's updated on a penned pop. With a list, it's actually not gonna be a problem, but watch out with the other data types. The lines are slightly complex. You've got these two functions being called here. You've got the index being looked up here. The simplest solution is to use the enumerate keyword, which takes your iterator and as you iterate through them, gives you the index. The original version was five lines. We got it down to three lines, but they're quite complex lines. And then this is the simplest form. What enumerate's doing is actually tuple unpacking. Enumerate builds an iterator, which gives back one of your original items and an index. Every time you call for next item from enumerate, it gives you the index and one of the items. If you look at the implementation of enumerate, it's really memory efficient because the tuple of length two is made once. Then when we increment through the enumerator object, it just does a post increment of a C integer field, which compiles down to one machine instruction. So it's about as close to bare metal as Python ever gets. So we're directly updating the number in place, no Python level overhead. The real reason we care about enumerate is not really performance because this is really performant in the case of a list it's that often in the real world when you've got a data type more complex than a list we don't actually know what the length is we could have a huge log file and we only want the first item or something and we don't want to read the whole file into memory just to find out the length it might be something that's real time that we're watching something in a live stream like a docker log coming in and we want to be alerted when something happens or perhaps it's an api that's streaming to us and we just want to know when one thing happens a numerator works here whereas len wouldn't work that's why i prefer a numerate over range len or manual counting which do you prefer leave a comment let me know go code something